obviously Jalen had a good practice yesterday um, and went out and, and, and looked well. Looked like he did some things really well. And uh, um, so still going to sort through all those things. Haven't decided on anything yet. We've still got, uh, shoot, we've got a couple days. Is it a matter of time? Sorry. Does it matter how he responds to that? You know, of course. Course. Yeah. Yeah. Everything matters. Um, everything matters with how he's feeling and what we feel like the timetable is and uh, what the doctors are saying. All, all those. Everything matters. Everything's in play. Um, obviously, the first and foremost thing that's most important for Jalen is that you know his his health is always taken in the consideration first, and if it's safe for him to be out there. Um, and then with, then from there, then you do what's best for the team, but you first do what's best for the individual. I think This is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I'll be talking Nate Sirianni. Yes, Nate Sirianni, he's just not giving out the game plan. He's not telling us who's starting that right tackle. He's not telling us who's going to be the quarterback Sunday. But let's get into it. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. So Gardner Minshew was the only quarterback, the only quarterback available for media. Um, he spoke about it. He was like, what did Nate Sirianni say? Basically, he don't have a decision. He really don't know if he started or not, according to him. Maybe he do. More than likely he do, but he's not going to give that up. Smarter Garner Minshew. It's up to Nick Sirianni, right? So, um, I think Nick Sirianni is playing this smart. You know, last week, Jalen Hurts did not practice at all. He just wasn't there. So, it made sense, like, a Thursday, I believe he said, or Friday, he announced that, you know, Jalen Hurts not playing. It's the shoulder, and he's just not ready to go. Now, this week is a bit tricky. Jalen Hurts been there. We've seen clips. It, his shoulder don't look as hurt. Maybe when there's some contact, some pads, maybe it look different. But he ain't look hurt to me. So, look, Nick Sirianni is like, look, it, it could be up to game time he, he really don't know so he say so he say i think he's playing this smart because garner Minshew plays a di different way from jayla hurts so it, it can't confuse the saints like who am i game planning for the dual threat guy or more the pocket guy who am i getting ready for and um like i said very smart of nick seriani why give out the game plan so fast why give it out so fast now, I would say this, in my opinion, if Jalen Hurst is over 80%, got to let him play. Got to let him play because, A, he led this team to the amount of wins that they have. And uh, one loss, well, now they have two. On One was on Gardner Minshew. But he led them, and I'm pretty sure he want to be the reason why they are, A, NFC East champs, and B, um nfc what first seed they they want that first seed get more guys to rest up Jalen hurts himself can rest up lane johnson you know we could have him back for the divisional round instead of him possibly missing a wild card game if it really comes down to that i hope it don't so look this game is important Jalen hurts know it's important but I guess it's just the Saints and the competition. But like I said, the Saints, like I said in my last video, the Saints are on a two-game winning streak. It's not the prettiest two-game winning streak, but they are on one. So got to respect the Saints. Got to respect your opponent. Them guys are really good. Definitely defending the pass against the run. Not so really. And you have Jalen Hurts. If he's playing, we already know. We already know. Even if Jalen Hurts you know, slide more or go out of bounds more. Just the threat of his legs elevates Miles Sanders more. And speaking of Miles, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. I know he didn't practice one day. His knee was bumped, bumped up, but he he's ready to go. So, yeah, man, I, I just think that Sirianni is not giving up the plan, even with the right tackle. Jack Driscoll, Malata, and Dillard. Which guy are we going to have? Each guy played different. And he like, look. I'm not giving that up either. He like, look, we could swing, we could swing Jack Driscoll around. We could swing 
Mulata around. Mulata was a swing tackle before. I'm pretty sure he could go to the right side. We know Andre Diller, he's more of a specialist on the left side. And if you ask me, I believe it should be Jordan Mulata right and Diller left. The reason why is just to have your best guys out there. No shot at Jack Driscoll. Jack Driscoll, he's a decent player. He's decent. If I had to grade him, he's like a C, C plus. But you got a first round pick, of Andre Diller, who can still play. It's just that he's in an unfortunate situation because Mulata is so good. And even on a down year like this with Mulata, he's still really good. He didn't allow no sacks against the Cowboys. And you move him to the right. You just have your best guys on the field. You have your best guys on the field. Now, I know Jack Driscoll could swing him around. He's a better right tackle than Diller, in my personal opinion. My personal opinion, and we know that. We know Jordan Mulata is a better right tackle than Jack Driscoll. And we know Andre Diller is a better left tackle than Jack Driscoll. So I think it should be those two definitely on the field. You just got to have your best personnel out there. Just got to have them out there. So it'll be interesting who they go with. And, um, yeah, help Andre Dillard draft stock go up, you know. He, he might be one of those guys that's going this year. Might be. But I know we like to keep our line intact no matter what. But I wouldn't be surprised if Dillard is somewhere else and we get some picks or something for him. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about the news today? Nick Sirianni's just not giving up the game plan. Nope, not telling y'all if we're going with Hurts. Nope, not telling you. Not telling you who we go at right tackle with right tackle, man. Just ain't telling you. But this is Alcabeta Analyst. Ghost. Hey.